We're in Lake Forest, California at a flying field with Jeff, who is doing? the quadcopter mariner expert. So Jeff, can you tell us about our switch positions on the DJI with our waterproof mariner quadcopter? We are. Uh, so we're, um, we have two, three positions. We have GPS, attitude mode, and manual mode. That's the crazy mode. You want to stay away from that. GPS is what we're going to start off in, and that's the way this copter works the best. So we're going to turn on the, the phantom remote and turn on the copter here, which has already been plugged in. Get so a verification. So we're looking at green lights in the back here and red lights. And as soon as it starts to blink green, that means we have enough satellites, but we're going to actually wait until it blinks five times green, which means it has the most satellites it's ever going to get. Get a little bit of wind. How are you confident today you can do it? Oh, no problem for the Mariner. <laughs> Jeff's going to do a compass calibration. <clears throat> he's using his iPhone to get uh, north, and uh, he's going to point the quadcopter north. Yep, and what we're going to do is take this from GPS all the way to manual and back between six and ten times, and we should see a bright glowing uh, orange light, a yellowish orange light on the back of the copter. So we'll try that right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we have it right here. Great. So let's do this. I should turn around one time and then it should turn green. I'm using Joe's advice. Do the baby carry. <laughs> now it just turned green. Go just like this. Okay, and it turns off and no blinking red light, so that's good. That means that we are counting. and turn off the copter it's going to save those, those settings because if you just take off it won't the settings won't be saved so off here off here back on on so it's really important then to turn off both the transmitter and the uh, power to the copter copter to actually have the settings compass setting that is set correct and, and always as you know always turn off your copter before you turn off your transmitter excellent We got a pretty good wind today, Jeff, and the uh, Mariner is holding up pretty good. Yeah. It's been really nice. Let me move in a little bit closer. You can see it tilted into the wind to correct, but it's actually maintaining its uh, orientation, both uh, altitude as well as uh, GPS position quite well. Jeff is, is moving that. it down right now. So he wanted, he wanted to do is change the altitude. It'll give you an idea of the stability of this. Very good. I didn't like that at all. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to let go of the controls again, else we'll see it close to a stop here. Good. Hands off the controls for auto landing. This is very in, nice yeah. and slow. <laughs> Jeff, where would you say that was in regard to our takeoff? About how many feet? I would say no, no more than five to ten feet at the most. I didn't, we didn't put a marker down, but it's pretty darn close from where we are. Uh, from where we. Um... Excellent. So even in the wind, it looks like we have a good auto return home with the power turned off on the Mariner. Again, there's probably 15, 15 plus knots of wind out there. We get hands off control. There we go. Just Love. reset the attitude, move it down, and we reset it again. Good GPS lock despite the wind. And it is coming in. Okay, just gonna fly this around a while. Three. 
investing now.